So, this is called the three level hierarchy of intelligence, which is based off of the two factor theory of intelligence. So, just think two, three, and that'll help you remember. It adds um, another level besides the general ability and the specific skills. It adds what is known as the middle level ability. So, things that Probably a lot of people have, but to be good at it is, you know, significant, like to have super good memory or be super reasonable or be super good at talking. Like, you know, there's there's definitely levels. Like everybody has a basic general intelligence, but there's definitely levels of these. Mm -hmm. So we break it down into G, which in this case is just going to stand for somebody's general intelligence, basic arithmetic, basic reading, basic writing, etc. And then we break it down into three middle level abilities, which are memory, reasoning, and verbal skills. Now, memory can break down into specific skills, like remembering somebody's phone number. Most of the time now, we type it in, we never think about it again, we just hit a button. But some people um, have a specific memory skill as part of their general intelligence, and that is remembering those digits. Another example would be the recall of names. So many times we have that tip of the tongue phenomenon where we see somebody's face and we're like, oh, I know I know them, but what is their name? Somebody with a specific skill might just be really good at knowing people's names. So with reasoning, so we go backwards usually. So a specific skill for reasoning that is part of some people's general intelligence is thinking with logic. So many of us think idealistically or we try so hard to read between the lines that we don't see it as black and white as sometimes it really is. Mm -hmm. And another example would be understanding laws. So many times people don't understand how laws are fair until they really think about them, you know, according to reasonable terms. Um, and then with verbal skills, that can break down into knowing things like synonyms and antonyms. Most of the time we need a thesaurus, but some people really can't just walk around and be like, oh, another word for that is this. Um, and Or being good at presentations. So many people lock up, they're scared, they stumble over their words, there's a lot of ums. But if people are good at presenting, then it's a specific skill that they have in the middle level ability of verbal skills that makes up their general intelligence. Make sense? Yep. Okay, any questions on it? No. Nope. Okay.